In this video, we're going to be solving five problems that are very similar to each other. In fact, we are going to use the same formulas to solve for each of them. They just have different numbers that are given for each of them. So we're going to start off with the first one up top, and then we are going to go to the second one here, and then the third one here, fourth one here, and then lastly, the fifth one right here. Each of the problems are worded a little bit differently, but they're basically going to ask us to calculate the P and Q and state whether the circuit inside of our box is absorbing or delivering the average power and magnetizing VARs. So to start this off, we have these two formulas right here. And these formulas can be found linked in the description below the like button in section 10.1, where we have the title calculating power and in section 10.2, which is the sinusoidal reactive factor. So for both of these, and for all of these problems in fact, we are going to be looking at this value here, and then this value here. The value to the right is our current, I, and then the value to our left is our voltage. And this value right here is our Vmax, and this value right here is our Imax. It's always gonna be the Vmax and Imax, and then this degrees is going to be the angle for our voltage, and this degrees is going to be the angle for our current. And if it's in sine, like this one right here, we are going to have to subtract 90 degrees from it to make it a cosine. And remember, we're subtracting 90 degrees from it because cosine is behind sine by approximately 90 degrees, and we can see that if we graph it. So plugging in the specific values, we're first going to have the voltage max, which we know to be 200 for this problem, then we have our current max, which we know to be 5, and this is over the constant 2. And then we're going to multiply this by the cosine of our angle for our voltage. Our angle for our voltage is in sine. So we're going to take our angle, which is 250, and we're going to subtract 90 degrees from it. From this, we are going to subtract our current angle, which is 40 degrees, and then this is all in parentheses. Now, for the second part, for our Q, we are going to do the same thing. The formulas are basically the same. However, there's a slight difference, and that difference is that instead of multiplying it by cosine, this is going to be our sine. So now we can plug both of these into a calculator. Make sure the calculator is in degrees also because we are given our values here in degrees. And after we do that, we are going to get that our power is equal to negative 250. And since it's a negative, we know that it's being delivered. And then for our Q, it's going to be 433, and it's absorbing since it's a positive. And that is how you would solve this problem. We're gonna move on to the next problem right here, which is basically the same thing. We're going to be doing the same thing where we plug in the values into here. Both of these are cosine, so we don't have to convert anything either. And these are the two equations that we're gonna get. We can plug them into our calculator. Again, make sure it's in degrees. And from this, we're gonna get that our power is approximately 104 watts. Since it's positive, we know it's absorbing. And then for our Q, we're going to get approximately negative 386 VAR, and our VAR is being delivered because it is a negative. And that's how you would go about solving for this one. In this problem, we're given the same thing. Um, I haven't uh, really looked at the diagram yet, and we should, just to make note, that our diagram is that the voltage, or I'm sorry, the current is going this way, and the voltage drop is going this way. So um, the arrow is going like this, but our voltage is going this way. And we can see that since it's going in the same direction, that means it is positive. We don't have to subtract anything. So that's why we're just kind of using, adding these together and the voltage drop, or I'm sorry, the current is in the same direction as our voltage drop. Now to solve these problems, we're gonna plug the values in. Um, we have a sign here. So we are going to have to convert this from 220 degrees uh, to a 160 degrees because we have to minus a negative 90 degrees. And this is going to give us approximately negative 307 watts for our power. This is being delivered because it's a negative. And for our Q, we have approximately 845 VAR. This is being absorbed because it is a positive. That's how you'd go about solving for this problem. For this problem, we have our voltage here and our current here. Our current is in sine, so we are going to have to convert that. We have to minus 90 degrees from the angle and plug them into these power and magnetizing formulas. 
And from this, we're gonna get that our power is approximately negative 1000 watts. And this is being delivered because it's a negative. And for our Q, which is the magnetizing, we're gonna have approximately negative 1000. 732 var and this is also being delivered because it is negative as well now we're looking at this last problem is asking us the about same thing we can see that we have cosine for both of these so no need to convert and we can just plug these into our formula again and from this we're going to get approximately 410 watts for our power this is being absorbed because it's a positive and for our q the magnetizer we are getting 287 approximately. And this is also positive, so it is being absorbed. And that's how you would go about solving each of these problems. There's timestamps to each of them individually in the description, as well as a playlist with over 100 intro to circuit analysis problems and notes that cover this entire course linked below the like button as well. If you have any questions about the material covered, you can also leave them in the comments below.